Let's talk about the Mr. Mr. Epps, the character. He's really somewhat of a monster, but you humanize him. Uh, yeah, I guess because he's a human being. I, you know, um, when I spoke to to Steve earlier, you know, right at the beginning about um, undertaking the character it was. He was like, well, you know, what do you think about him? And I was like, well, I kind of see him as a result of the time, you know. Not an individual monster as could have been sort of easily that go down that path. And I said, you know, the fact that he's in love with Patsy is a big deal. And he was like, exactly. And that was the centerpiece of the whole thing. The fact that he's in love with, um, with Patsy and that he just doesn't have the intellect or you know, capability to process that, that he sets about destroying her. And I thought that was a, a very interesting conflict and a very human conflict. And I'm only interested, you know, interested in finding that, that human connection in a story like this because, you know, slavery is a complex topic. It was a complex time in the history and it's not like a simple sort of, you know, master and slave and that sort of dynamic, there's so much more going on because we're human beings. What's it like to lash somebody 150 times or 100 times or 50 times, whatever it may be? What, of course, we know that getting lashed 50 times is going to be horrendous, but what's it like to go home with that muscle memory every day and to go home with that psychological sort of memory every day? And so that was kind of where I tried to sort of approach the character. And um, yeah, I mean, I feel a certain you know, sympathy for him in terms of sort of, you know, being a, a victim of the time as much as anybody else. Well, Fish Tank, I just wanted to make the, the, the film because of Andrea. I never got a script for Fish Tank. Uh, I just had seen Red Road and I was blown away by, by the film and again, the areas are gray and you know not having like black and white scenarios or black and white characters uh, you know and, and again not trying to sort of breed you know or, or, or prophesize any moral sort of lesson at the end of it just trying to tell stories you know complicated stories human beings are complicated life is complicated and uh, we're not trying to preach anything we're just trying to investigate and throw up some questions so you know with everything I just you know approach it with them um, with try you know some form of honesty and truth, really. And you nailed the accent. I thought, thanks. Uh, yeah, a bit of work involved there, you know, but uh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> a wonderful performance. Again, amazing. Incredible actor.